let's just get straight into it. You've got your template printed out, so now let's decorate. For my example, I'm just going to use colouring pencils, but you can use felt tip pens or collage or paint if you prefer. Don't worry about decorating the central grey area or the boxes at the bottom with hash marks. Once you've decorated, it's time to cut around the outside lines of your theatre. This part of a theatre is called a proscenium arch. Not all theatres have them, but they are a nice way to frame the action and separate what's happening on stage from the audience. Next, you need to cut out the centre of your theatre. Try to cut around the edge of the grey shape as neatly as you can, because this piece can be used later to make your puppets. Keep the spare pieces, don't throw them away. Great, we're ready for shaping. Cut along the solid lines at the bottom where there is a little scissors symbol. Make sure not to go onto the dashed line. Fold along the dashed line all the way from the top to the bottom. Do both sides. Now fold along the lines for your tabs. Get a piece of card ready for your base. It can be whatever colour you like. Now put some glue on half of the tab labelled X, then fold your pieces together to form a corner. Press down to make sure both sides are stuck well together and do both sides. You then need to put glue across the bottom of each tab and stick it to the centre of your base. I have coloured in the top of my tabs with black felt tip pen to disguise them on the base, but you don't have to do this. If you don't have glue, you can use sellotape instead, or you might want to do both for extra strength. Here is an example of a different design where we have used collage instead of colouring. We've also added extra decorations with sequins and felt. If you want to, you can also decorate your base. We have also hidden the tabs at the bottom of this theatre with squares of card in the same colour as the base. This also adds extra strength. Get creative with your ideas and have fun making your own. Keep your eyes peeled on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel for our next videos where we will be showing you how to make a backdrop for your theatre and also how to make some mini puppet characters. I've just made some very simple designs here to give you an idea. Hello, we hope you enjoyed that and we hope you enjoy making your own mini theatres. If you did enjoy the video it would be great if you could like it and share it and also consider donating to Norwich Puppet Theatre. There's a link in the description so that we can continue to make more videos like this. But for now thank you very much for watching and we'll see you soon at the Online Puppet Theatre.